Tell, thankfully for you, we're changing your nickname, Crazy Horse with a C, probably to the Peacemaker. Because if it wasn't for you, these two would have probably went at toe to toe in there. That's true. Many of us thought that bad blood had escaped or it was done. Yeah. No. I it, thought it, I was just. I thought I was just here to announce, not uh, be bouncer. Is that a job title? Fight bouncer? You should be looking for a raise, I guess, from Ryzen. Because if it wasn't for you, these two gentlemen could have went down. And now we know that. Vanderlei Silva will be in the corner uh, for Kimura. And of course, here's Crazy Horse right now, doing what he does best, entertaining, acting surprised that, hey, you know what? It's time to fight. He's too tired, doesn't know what he wants to do. But uh, as I was saying, that video did go viral. Uh, it, it, it was it was a hectic situation, but now it's gonna, we'll see what happens here. Hopefully they didn't run to each other in the backstage, but. And what is on Crazy Horse's shirt? Who's next? The Axe Murderer? Is that what we're seeing? Who, Who needs, needs an, an old, old axe? axe? My <laughs> goodness. Oh, what are we in store for? But the Axe Murderer sees that shirt, or if anyone tells him, thankfully it's, cra or it's a Crazy Horse with a K entering the ring first. Maybe he'll have to take that shirt off so Vanderlei doesn't see it, but I can assure you, ladies and gentlemen, it will not take much for Vanderlei Silva to do something, despite the fact that his pupil, or someone he knows very well, and Minoru Kimura, uh, will be stepping into the ring right now to take on Crazy Horse. Crazy Horse, obviously someone uh, mixed martial arts fans, hardcore fans, have known for a very long time. He told us that in this fight here, for those that don't know, it's a little bit different. It's three minute rounds, not five minutes, That's then not five true. rounds. It's three rounds of three minutes, and he looked at us and he said, I love it. Nine minutes yeah. worth of slamming. Yeah, that's true. And I think the reason they did that was this is uh, Minoru Kimura's first MMA event. He's normally a K1 kickboxer, um, so he felt more comfortable with the three minute rounds. Um, but for, for Charles Bennett, who's used to fighting five minutes, he thinks, hey, this is great. It's almost cutting, it cutting their fight time down in half. Um, he wasn't upset about it at all. Actually, was kind of looking forward to it. Um, now, what's going to be interesting in this is what happens if Vanderlei is in Camaro's corner. Is he and Charles going to start fighting before Charles and, and Camaro can go at it? I mean, this is an actual possibility, as we've seen before. If we all remember the old Pride. Listen, I, I, I know exactly what you're saying, and, and, and the Mark to Coleman, the viewer, yes. <laughs> <laughs> to the viewers tuning in globally, they, they may not understand what we're talking about here, but there is a legit possibility that Vanderlei Silva may bypass anything Ryzen has in store for Crazy Char or for, for Charles Bennett and Minoru Kimura, and he might just start fighting Charles right there. He has, he's just, he's, Charles wants to fight him. He does. That's made that very clear to me. Well, and if you watch that video that went viral, he completely said it over and over again. Oh, yeah. I, I, I won't repeat the full terminology, well, I mean, I but he said, I knocked you out. Yeah. I knocked you out. This little guy knocked you out. <laughs> and says he wants to do so again. <laughs> he wants it. I did it once, and I'll do it again. Now, obviously, that's, that almost enticed Vanderlei once again uh, to follow you into the elevator with Bennett. Thankfully, that didn't happen. Well, yes, I, I, and, I, and I've known Vanderlei for years. Obviously, I've known Charles, Charles for years as well. Uh, so I was glad I was able to defuse the situation. I was like, hey, guys, if y'all are going to fight, let's at least get paid for it, right? And, and listen, that's the oldest adage uh, in the book. Don't fight outside of the ring. Don't fight outside of the, of, of the cage. You get paid to fight. You're a prize fighter. Yep. Do it inside. Listen, there isn't a promoter in the world that would put that fight on. Now that both guys are here at Ryzen, that fight could be put on some way, somehow. I mean, I, I would say the weight advantage goes to... Uh, Clearly, <laughs> but as we have an open weight Grand Prix tonight. <laughs> That's right? true. That's true. It is a possibility. Oh, little merengue. I'm not going to lie to you. I am surprised right now that Minoru Philip Kimura is coming out to this because when we interviewed him, I asked him flat out, you got your Beats by Dre headphones on. What are we listening? What are you listening to? And he talked about Eight Mile and Eminem and how yeah. the lyrics are so inspiring. But this will get you going. This will get your rhythm going. This will make you feel good. He's going back to his Brazilian roots. Absolutely. But I thought he was going to come out to Sandstorm, which is Vanderlei's song. You are absolutely correct because that's what he came out to in right. his fights. The music changing. No. And I don't see Vanderlei in the corner. 
which is also a thing we were expecting to see. Oh, I was you're, wrong. You're bang on. <laughs> the prophecy. The crazy Wait. horse with a C prophecy. Here comes some sandstorm. Does that mean Vanderlei Silva will actually make an appearance right now? Because we all know this, and there's the, there it is right there. The fans here know exactly what that stance is all about, because that was what Vanderlei Silva, yes. the axe murderer, would do before every single fight. But no Vanderlei. For those that don't know what's going on, there oh, he is right there, there the axe man. murderer. Vanity Silva, he knows whose song this belongs to, and obviously giving blessing to Kimura to come up to it whenever he likes. Well, I think it's a good idea not having Vanderlei in the corner. I don't, I don't know, maybe not. I don't know what's going to happen. Still. Well, for the sake of this boat here, I think it's a great idea. But Vanderlei is right there. It, 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 I've witnessed it just this week, firsthand. He can go from 0 to 100 yeah. real quick. <laughs> Well, I'm kind of excited about this. This this is very reminiscent of the old fights that we used to see. You know, this is a, a, a really a styles fight. This is a, oh, a traditional kick. A, you know, a traditional kickboxer coming in with Bennett, who's really more of a traditional wrestler. Um, I'm kind of excited. This is like going back in time. Got to be some extra motivation right now for Kimura to have his idol there, Vanderlei Silva. Right before pressure. he steps into the ring. Yeah, absolutely. And the one thing about Kimura is, you know, Charles Bennett, he's a joker, he's an actor. Yes. He's funny. Yes. Listen, Kimura wasn't having any of it at the weigh-ins. No. <laughs> I was like, what is this guy doing? This guy's acting like a clown. We're, we're here to fight. We're here to square off. And, you know, I, I, I well, crazy horse with a K is hilarious. Kimura's really hammering it up right here. But this is what it's all about in Japan. This is yep, what absolutely. Ryzen wants. They want you to, they oh. want the fans to love you. There we go. <laughs> I think, I think Vanderlei is about ready to jump in the ring, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there you have it. I think that's an international sign. Yes. I don't have to interpret that one. He's saying you're number one. Yeah. He, you're number one. Ichiban. You're so good. <laughs> I'm going to give you two number ones. There we go here. The youth advantage going to Kimura in this fight here. But the experience in mixed martial arts is obvious. Over 50, over 60 fights. Yes. To Charles Bennett. Crazy horse just going, you remember, you remember, I knocked you out, you Shock remember, wave. as Vanderlei Silva is making the international <laughs> slit throat sign in the corner, I am stoked for this fight. Here oh! 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 Let's see right there! <laughs> in the he front of the other! That's it! The fight is over! There's a Vanderlei! He's going after Vanderlei! Oh, he's going after I thought he was going out. I think he is. I thought he was going after Vanderlei, actually. 
an aggressive oh, Kimura goodness. came after, was trying to set up something versus Charles Crazy Horse Bennett. Bennett stepped off and obviously caught it and realized, you know what? Take this. I mean... <laughs> Obviously a thunderous, a thunderous punch. Here is the typical, prototypical backflip by Charles Bennett. I wouldn't be, I'm glad he didn't fall. Unbelievable, this guy. Unfortunately, I I he's hearing, I do not have a seatbelt to strap you down into your chair, but you can just imagine what Charles Bennett is about to say when that microphone is given to him. And here we see it, just the right hand, right, right on the, the temple. temple. Lights yeah. out. Kamara was trying to set up a flying knee. Oh, and, lights oh, out. Oh, yeah. That hurt. Just come down with the hands down. Well, you saw the, the way he was p pacing himself, looking yep. to do something. Crazy Horse wanted nothing to do with it. Hits him with the right, fight over, and yep. immediately, you know exactly what he's going to do after a fight, and at the, <laughs> other than falling backwards. <laughs> Yeah, Charles Bennett is very, very explosive, very quick. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh-oh. Well, thankfully, Minuto Kimura is okay. Obviously dejected. Hello, Konnichiwa. I like the tank. I would really like to thank the Japanese people and the rising organization. Man, I, the celebration was more work than the fight. Yeah, Hey, thank y'all for having me, man. Y'all know I miss it here. Y'all know I miss it here. This is real love out here. The Japanese people always showed me real love. So guess what I just did for you guys? I returned to face seven seconds. That's the quickest paycheck I've ever made. Yeah, Shunsatsu, Minasan, Mea, Kate, Janto, Mite, Kurete, Mashita, Kane, Nihon, no fan, Honto, Nitsmo, Atsui, Sono, Nitsu, Morate, Ayo, Morate, Boku, Asore, Okyo, Kai, Shimashita, Minasan, Arigato. Not only that. Where is Candy Lay? Candy Lay? Candy Lay. But 300K. Yeah, Tony Kaku. Candy Lay, for the record, you know what happened 2005. Oh my. That's why you're still salty. That's why you still want to try to get some with this. But you can't get none with this unless we put it on contract. We put it on contract. Then you can get some. And other than that, every time your big steroid head ass see me, I'm a nigger and I run fast. There have been legendary moments that have occurred in, in Japan, mixed martial arts. I, I don't know where we would fit this one, but absolutely perhaps the number one infamous moment in mixed martial arts, and it continues to always happen with Charles Bennett. <laughs> Well, it wasn't boring. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm trying not to be speechless right now. I'm, I'm actually enthralled with you not falling <laughs> off your chair again. But my goodness, Charles Bennett making a statement not only with his performance, actually from the di from the moment he got to Japan, to the moment he stepped into the ring, to the fight afterwards with his post-fight speech. I mean, he is something else. <laughs> and he said, you, you mentioned the 300K. Right, you mentioned 300K. He told us in the interview to fight Vanderlei, I'll take $300,000. I don't know if Ryzen would put that in their budget, but that's what he's looking for. I mean, unbelievable. Unbelievable. I don't think we saw that one coming. Not that quick. And here we go. The taunting. The taunting from Vanderlei, the taunting from Charles. 
Charles Bennett just grabbed the cameraman and put himself and Vanderlei in the same frame. Unbelievable. I hate to break it to you, but this guy knows what he's doing. I, I mean, I feel like we got morphed into a WWE event. That's the beauty of Japanese mixed martial arts. <laughs> you do not have to twist my arm ever to do this kind of stuff. This is unbelievable. <laughs> oh, he's just showing the knockout, oh, what man. he saw. Uh, no, he was making fun of Vanderlei's open. Oh, the open, that's correct. Uh, yes, yes, yes. All right. Well. One, seven, seven. <laughs>